welcome to part 2 of the book summary of The Winning Way. In last part, we discussed about the individual skills which are required for winning. First, goal setting. Second, winning triangle. Attitude, skill and desire. Third, learning from winning and failure. In this part, we will discuss about the people skills required for a winning team. First, teamwork. Hayden pointed out that Indian cricketers are selfish because they play for personal milestones. A person playing for his personal goals is not a team player. No matter how talented the person is, if he does not have the attitude of teamwork, it's better to play without him. A good team player should surrender me for we. That is, team's goal should come first and not individual goal. The quote of Rudyard Kipling summarizes the entire concept correctly. For the strength of the pack is the wolf and the strength of the wolf is the pack. Second, leadership. A leader's job is not only to create teamwork, but also to understand each player and bring out the best from them. We all know that Ganguly empowered young players like Harbhajan Singh, Yuvrat Singh and Irfan Patan and gave them confidence which made them match winners. Irfan Patan has shared experience of his first game. He was very nervous when he was asked to bowl. Ganguly, seeing his nervousness, ran up to him and said he believed in him. That's what differentiates a leader from the rest. His vision and ability to look beyond what others can see. Importance of change. From 1928 to 1956, Indian hockey team remained unbeaten in the Olympics, getting six Olympic gold medals in a row. But in 2008, India failed to even qualify for Olympics. Many reasons responsible for fall of Indian hockey, but the main reason was refusal to change. The game that India were champions at 50 years ago is not the same as one that is played today. In those days, hockey was played on grass. An Indian style of rissy shots were perfect for the surface. But then came a straturf surface. Technique required for two surfaces are completely different. Thus, refusing to change was the primary reason for the fall of Indian hockey. You should always remember that change is center of growth and expansion. As we are living in an informative age, everything is constantly changing and getting updated. Therefore, as an individual as well as a team, you should keep on learning new things and changing. Alvin Toffel was right when he said, The illiterate of 21st century will not be those who cannot read and write, but those who cannot learn, unlearn and relearn. Summarizing the entire book, in part one, you learned about goal setting, three things required for winning and importance of learning from winning and losing. In part two, you learned about importance of teamwork, leadership and constantly changing for creating a winning team.